guys welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is quinn cassidy i'm a post-operative trans woman and i'm here to slay every day today's video is going to pretty much be about a fashion overhaul everybody been telling me how they love my style they want to know what's in my closet and i'm here to share that however there might be like three parts to this video because sis my closet is like 95 to 98 percent of fashion nova so i might like i have a lot to show but i'm gonna show you guys mo maybe like six outfits because i'm gonna have to break these into pieces i already did the whole um the slow-mo videos with my outfits and the pictures and just videos in general by the way if you want to know about my hair hold on because i don't want buns to get messed up even though it's about to be messed up right now if you want to know about my hair and where I got it done, I got it up, I got it done in Brooklyn, New York. If you want to know the person who did my hair, I will link it right here so you can see who did it. Yep, her. And she was bomb because she did my hair really well. And I will also link the price as well so you can see how much it was and stuff. So yep, that was my hair. So the first outfit that I'm wearing in this shoot was the so 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 soft sweater three piece set um in gray it was so super comfortable the only thing was since i got the whole three piece set in a small the top was too small for my chest and my body length up here but the dress and the actual sweater was perfect size because again me being a trans woman my body is probably not as proportionate as a biological woman which i understand however i have a nice body In this look, I'm wearing the Love Puppy Midi dress, the um, straight to the point blazer. So for this look, guys, this was, I think it was the purple look. It's called For Life Lounge Set in purple. This lounge set, to be honest, I really don't like that much. I like the top, but I don't like the pants. You guys know I'm pretty tall. I'm 5'9". So the pants could stop at my, like a little above my ankles, and I don't like that. I like the pants that, that goes all the way down. I feel like Fashion Nova should make more clothing specifically for taller people because a lot of the pants I have from them, they go a little bit like high waters and I don't like that. Like that's ugly. So for this look, um, the next look I wore was the movie date striped skirt set. Okay guys, so for this look, I wore a romper set. So it came with the romper and the jacket as well. The comfortability for this outfit was super comfortable. The material was very thin, it wasn't itchy. You know what's funny? In the picture, it looks like an itchy material, but it wasn't itchy at all. Like it was super comfortable. Like it, it felt so good. A romper is not too good or is not a good fit, but this one was a good fit for my body. So I feel like if you're trans and you know that your body is slightly different, this romper would be really good for you. Trust and believe me. It was so comfortable, like just comfortable. As 
it's been 3.40 since my shoot. I really did prolong this whole video, which I gotta stop doing. Like, I have to start posting and stop acting up. But, um, yes. Due to this pandemic or this epidemic, whatever the shit is, I am off the shots now because usually I go to the clinic to do my shots but I can't go to the clinic no more so I'm starting to take pills again which I am so upset about but hopefully everything goes back to normal soon and we are and we could get our shots so thank you guys for watching my video if you enjoyed please hit that like button turn on the notification bell comment below if you have any questions before I do end this video I do want to say Thank you so much to those who still are subscribed to my channel. That's number one. Who's still commenting. Who still hits me up on all social medias. All questions. And still just give me that support on my channel. Even though you know that I barely post. Like, And I'm so sorry about that. It's just that there was a lot going on. A lot of you guys do not know. But I lost my grandmother on Halloween. Um, my camera's still broken. I'm doing much better now. But my grandmother was everything to me. Even though we didn't see eye to eye and she wasn't really like too supportive with my whole transition. She used to question it a lot. But she was still my grandmother. You know what I mean? So I loved her very much. And my mother's mother I never got to meet because she passed away before I was born. Just glad that I had some years with her. I got to speak to her, dance with her, sing with her. She was a very fun character. She, she was just like... She, her food was amazing to be honest every grandmother's food is ama amazing so cherish your grandmother and tell her you love her and make sure you you know record everything document everything just for memories trust and believe me do this because i have some videos of her i always document everything like i like to record everything in case you know you lose the moment you know so again thank you so much for supporting me and continuing of you know watching me and stuff like that and i really appreciate it so thank you everybody stay safe wash your hands use hand sanitizer wear gloves wear masks stop playing around stop spreading this corona thing because this is not cool we want all this to be over we want to go out shake our ass pop our vaginas peace